Hello lovely Capricorn. I've decided to do glittery cards for you today. I'm really hoping that the stars ooh, are going to show up on them. Um, four of them, is it four? Five of them have just fallen on the floor. So that's given us our first few cards of the reading. Let's see what's coming in for you. Interesting. Okay. This is for you if you're Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. And it's for you whenever you get the message. Okay. Do these, oh, they're working. You can see a little bit of the stars on them. Okay. This is the Eight of Wands. So you've got something coming in, a message, some momentum, a bit of a spark going on with something. It's like... Um, in the old days receiving a letter some news back in the day before we had smartphones but of course in the days that we do have smartphones it can be a text message an email a buzz a call a pip a ping a dm i don't know whatever the kids are calling it these days it's something or someone reaching out to you okay the card that i get it with is the king of wands nice energy the king of wands is somebody who is happy in their own skin okay you also get the page of wands so you've got kind of both ends of the spectrum it looks like you're going to be feeling some energy energy that you want to transmit to other people so this could be that you want to move around, that you want to get rid of kinetic energy, that you want to teach somebody something, that you want to process something, an experience that's happening to you, you want to share it with other people. So this would be a very good time for you if you were looking at um, starting new relationships or putting some buzz back into a relationship, starting a new creative endeavor like a podcast or writing a book or any kind of creative endeavor. Indela, I'm making these readings while Mercury is retrograde, can I just say, and my ability to talk is just like blah. Um, Capricorns are often overlooked in terms of how creative they are. I don't know why, maybe because you're ruled by Saturn and a lot of the books concentrate very much on that, you know, and say that you make good bosses and good accountants and all the rest of it and business people, which you do. But also there are sea goats out there that are goats with a kind of almost like a seahorsey type tail. And those Capricorns are much more kind of psychically creative. And that's what I'm getting at here. Now, we also have the King of Cups. And this indicates that you may have a psychic partner in crime, as it were. Not literally, I hope. This could be something romantic, and we're going to look at your love life in a minute, but it can also be finding someone that you really vibe with, finding somebody that you want to work with and express yourself with. It could be a creative business partner. It could be someone you just meet up with in a group or you meet online or you discover them somewhere or just like they're an acquaintance. And they become somebody where you can actually see psychic eye to eye with each other which is weird because I've never used that expression before I like that this is a person as well that you might look back in a couple of years or even more and think to yourself things really changed when I met that person okay interesting now, you have the Nine of Swords, which is a card that most people have got this month, and it's about worrying. It's also about being very up in your head and constructing some form of worry. Capricorns are particularly good at this, I think, because you're quite good at creating structures. So you can create a structure of worry for yourself based on what would happen if this went wrong? What would happen if that went wrong? I need to devise a plan B. I need an escape route for this. You know, I need certain things to happen. What I would say about that, lovely Capricorns, is to a certain extent, we all need a plan B at certain times. If this job doesn't work out, if this relationship doesn't work out. 
but also we all need to fly the trapeze without a safety net now and again which is not literal advice but metaphorically sometimes you do your best work when you don't have a safety net so there's something here about you taking a chance maybe applying for a job that's well out of your skill set it's out of your um ballpark you know you're thinking to yourself god i'm really i don't belong here definitely throw your hat in the ring then it's taking a leap of faith on a creative project it's sinking into the possibility that it might not work but you're going to do it anyway it's that whole feel the fear and do it anyway what you might find is that that king of cups person or indeed the king of wands person may encourage you to be more free and easy about how you do things because naturally you are ruled by Saturn and Capricorns have a quite cautious streak which is why people often do like them as do like you as employees people of trust because you look ahead you see what's coming you make a plan you're normally quite good at identifying the weak points of something um, health and safety you know almost emotional health and safety and you can circumnavigate them and put plans in and everybody wants that everybody wants a workaround but this is about you and this is about your creative core and it's about your life Capricorn and it's all about making that leap of faith not requiring the safety net and also I would say pushing yourself or being pushed to the edge of your comfort zone and maybe even beyond so if you can seek to put yourself in situations that sort of historically you know you've always found difficult you know that you've always shied away from that you've always found tricky so for me mine would be public speaking always been a big deal for me find it really really difficult have definitely avoided it where i can but I should lean into it and that's what I'm saying to you if there's something that you've shied away from and it could be the weirdest thing I mean I talk on YouTube every day but I'm funny about public speaking nobody knows what their thing is or isn't going to be and also nothing is right or wrong about them okay this is just about you getting out of your head and sinking into your body and your heart chakra and feeling whatever it is you feel and then giving yourself permission to dare to dare to dream to dare to be to dare to skip it's that whole tea towel dance like no one's watching you know that kind of scenario i know capricorns would hate that slogan as well i'm just looking outside the window capricorn and there is a floor company van that is called star floors can i just say that is a work of genius and i knew you'd appreciate it okay i'm going to have another couple of cards on life purpose and career and then we're going to look at your love life that's interesting who else got this aries i think it was no it was libra oh god it was either aries or libra also got three kings so we've had the king of wands we've had the king of cups and we now have the king of swords are we going to get some shimmer on this one i think we are okay so the king of swords again is somebody who is very business orientated somebody who is communications orientated and somebody who has great um, boundaries okay i feel like the king of swords is you you have this skill set already you normally um, are quite scheduled quite contained quite business-like when you mix the if you look at the cards here and then you mix 
the King of Wands with the King of Cups and the King of Swords, you then find that you get all these qualities in one person. And it feels to me, Capricorn, like you're kind of on a carousel and you're spinning between being the funkiness and the outgoingness of this King of Wands and the kind of emotional and psychic nature of the King of Cups and the confidence of the King of Wands and also with the King of Swords that um, preciseness and the ability to pinpoint things. I like this for you. I think you've got opportunities coming up. And here we've got Sun in Capricorn, which is the Four of Pentacles, where you bank it. You basically bank everything that's happened. Push beyond your comfort zones. You will go beyond your comfort zones anyway, but it's better than being up in your head. And you're going to find that you meet more people that are going to be linked to your life purpose and that you also find out things about yourself that you then need to communicate with others or want to communicate with others and that that takes you down a different path as well. Exciting times Capricorn, should we look at your love life? I'm taking one more card for your life purpose and your business and career and we've got the Ten of Wands. Interesting. There are certain things you've been doing that you no longer wish to do and they become a burden and so much of a burden that you can't carry on doing them, which is a good thing because when you reach this, it's become more painful to stay the same, okay? Which is a often a real kickstarter for generating something new. Okay, let's look at your love life. Love life for lovely Capricorns. There will be an extended reading as there is every month and for every sign. And it will be an extended love reading. So whatever cards come up underneath here, we take them and we clarify them using different decks and love decks. And we ask whatever questions were left at the end of the reading. So if it resonates with you, you can, that's the first link in the description box. Okay, love life for my lovely Capricorns. Ooh. The lovers for my lovely Capricorns. And now we're looking at the bottom. Ooh, Capricorn. Okay. So, at the bottom of the deck, oops, wrong, f oh God, honestly, wrong camera, we've got the devil, which of course is your card Capricorn. So it's not quite such a difficult, although that devil, I mean, God, it's quite disturbing, but you are Capricorn and the devil is your card. Okay. So it's not as difficult for you. It's like Scorpio's getting the death card. It is a power card for you to get the devil, but at the same time, it's also interesting that you get the lovers as well. Okay, so if I just take the devil card and you can see that obviously you've got the devil in the background and then you've got the people that are chained to each other and chained to the devil. And then in the lovers, you've got the angel in the background, but the people are still, they're not chained to each other, but they're joined. And I do feel sometimes when you get these two cards together, that the universe is kind of speaking to you about your limits and about your patterns and about your relationships with people. Now the chariot, again, if you look at the chariot, you've got the twin sphinxes as well. It feels like there's some duality here in your love life, in your romantic life. So this could be that there's something going on between you and Gemini people, because obviously Gemini is the twins. It could also be, of course, Cancerians, because the chariot represents Cancerians and the lovers is Gemini, the twins. But there's something of a kind of dualistic nature to your love life. On the one hand, you want to defend your corner here, where we've got Mars and Leo, the seven of wands. 
and you want to stand up for yourself and what you believe in. Which is sometimes a bit challenging when it's your love life. We're all quite good at standing up for other people or standing up when it's a different aspect of our own life. But when it comes to our love life, we can be a bit slow to the mark, okay? For some reasons, boundaries in love relationships just seem to be much more complicated than sort of business relationships. And I would say that was definitely the case for Capricorns. So something is happening here about pushing beyond your comfort limits in your relationships as well, in your romantic relationships. The situation wants to know or will end up demanding to know what's your bottom line on this. So somebody might push your boundaries a bit. Somebody might test you a little bit. And also with the Page of Swords, there's a beginning of starting to talk about what the bottom line is with something, what people's expectations are of each other in relationships. What are your non-negotiables and what are their non-negotiables? Okay, and it looks like this discussion could go one way or the other. It could really clear the air because we've got the chariot, but also we've got all these people sort of pulling in different directions, but also dualistically being together which is interesting so i feel like there is it's quite complicated it's quite complex but you're being tested and you're maybe also being pulled in two different directions yourself i'm just going to take a couple more cards on this with the devil as well it could be old patterns coming back old patterns showing up in relationships yeah we've got the queen of wands and the queen of wands is somebody who is very much it's like kind of diva energy but somebody is very much on her own side and is very much standing up for herself her boundaries her needs and i feel like you're going to be either wanting to do that for yourself anyway or put in a position where that becomes an important thing to do. We also get the Empress for you, Capricorn, which is about being in your divine feminine energy, which at the same time is this kind of, Queen's of Queen of Wands energy. In other words, you don't have to be like shouting your head off or shouting it from the rooftops. It can also be something where you're just quietly confident and you just state what your non-negotiables are and move forward with confidence. We have the Knight of Pentacles, a very Capricorn card, just showing you that like with everything else, and certainly if we're in a retrograde period, this may not be a time for galloping forward in relationships, but more a time of moving at a comfortable pace that you and whoever else it is are comfortable with. We have the Nine of Wands, which talks about the importance of boundaries, which I think you already have, being Capricorns. But at the same time, the importance of not becoming so defensive that you shut out anything coming your way that's actually going to be beneficial as well. And then we have the Three of Pentacles, which is finding a way for you and someone else to work together as a team, which is lovely Capricorn. Let's have a love oracle card for you and then I will go and do the extended reading where we'll do a love reading. We're going to look at the chariot, the devil and the lovers and all this dualistic energy that we've got for you. The love oracle card that I get for you is imperfections, interestingly. Love is a beautiful mess. Embrace its imperfections. I think we're all going to be getting some practice for that over the coming few next days and weeks. Okay, Capricorn, I'm going to go do the extended reading. If you want to join me there, it's the first link in the description box. And I'll see you on the other side. Namaste.